One Piece Film Gold Episode Zero Review. Because it's only like 10 minutes long, it's going to be a very short review, but Episode Zero of One Piece Film Gold is a lead up to the Film Gold movie showing what the crew is doing before they arrive on Grand Tesoro. Now, really, really good content here because if there's one thing One Piece has been missing, I may make a video on this. Since the time skip, it is that humor and crew interaction. Pretty time skip, we would just get a ton of it. We would get all these moments of the crew just hanging out on the study. We get before every arc, we get like half the chapter to an episode sometimes in the anime. And then just goofing around. We get so much greatness. But in this, since the time skip, we haven't been getting that. So seeing the crew just play off of each other is really good. The one thing that makes One Piece so great, and I just said this, is seeing the crew play off of each other and watching this really great dynamic Oda had going for him. Especially in the anime. Because in the anime, you have the voice actors and the music that really take it out and just make it so alive and make it so realistic and make it just so good. And I feel like we've really been missing that since the time skip. So getting more content of just the crew hanging out together and having fun is just a really, really nice. I mean, the beginning of this starts off with like a volleyball game. The fan service is heavy in this. You can, I'm pretty sure, you, you can almost see Nami and Robin's nipples. I mean, the fan service in this was heavy. For real, guys. So it was really, it was heavy fan service. But I mean, you get to see Nami and Chopper, I believe, playing against Robin and Frankie. From what, yeah. And so what happened is they're playing in the volleyball, and like Robin uses her devil fruit power to show they lose, and Nami and Chopper win. Not Robin gives Nami a coin, and Nami's like, hell yeah, I win! And it's, it's really good. Sanji freaks out over Nami and Robin. Really good stuff. I mean, we had to see a little bit of Thor versus Sanji. They want to make money somehow. The Straw Hat, like the Sai. They're a Japanese, so, like, do this, he this, like, hero show where Luffy and, like, Usopp are fighting, and then they're fighting, and then, like, Usopp can they're to tend to take out Luffy, and Luffy pretends to fall down. Really funny stuff. But this is the highlight of the special for me. Frankie shows up and it's like, Straw Hat, I want to fight you for real. So Frankie wants to fight Luffy for real. Like, he wants, like, not like a serious fight, but he wants them to be serious about it. Like, no faking falling on the ground. No, they actually try fighting. And I think Frankie is like a rat. Luffy go gear third. And that just shows that Luffy gear third is not that much bigger than the Sunny. But he does a gear third, a small, a small jump, a small pistol, like, pretty time skip size, very small, not enough to do serious damage to the sunny. He, 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 and he's going in with a, with a, with a gigantic pistol, Frankie's like, doing a radical beam, and then before they can fight each other, Nami hits them both over the head as they're fighting, and then she becomes, like, the hero, but they're like, I thought it was like, it started with a K, I don't remember what it was called, I don't remember the Japanese pronunciation, but like, the chords look cool, or it, was, it sounded a little bit like Kaizuko, which is a pirate king in Japanese. But she becomes the, like the big hero, and Nami just dies. Like this is all, this is all very stupid. It looks really stupid when you're watching it. But and then my personal favorite part of it, and when Nami is talking, my second personal favorite part is when Nami talking about Grand Tesoro. She explains all the stuff that's there, kind of just gives that information you'll need to know from the movie. Apparently there's a casino there. Nami is very happy. Like, very happy about the casino. Luffy looks forward to it. Luffy and Sanji are talking about the restaurant. Which I find funny. Uh, it's great. They're talk Zoro's thinking about the steaks they'll have. Ro Robin's interested in their hotels. I don't know why. But overall, you don't need to watch this special. But I would definitely recommend it, because this special is 10 minutes. It won't take much of your time. I, you can definitely eat, you can definitely most likely make time for it. It's only 10 minutes long, literally. Very short, very fun to watch. It, it, it's, a, it's a lot like, a, remember the film gold one? 
It's like the another film goal, but film Z1, the lead up to film Z, where they were all hanging out. It's like that, but the Nami fan service is a lot less heavy. It's a lot more focused on the crew dynamic than it is on Nami's ass and her boobies. But, yeah, this is very good. Honestly, I give it a 5 out of 5. I, I get a rating of 5 out of 5. But it was so short and just, just, just great, so many just great moments. There's nothing bad about it. It's just, it's just 10 minutes of fun. That's all it is. I mean, if I was going to do it, I'd get myself, like, my favorite drink. Then get myself a small little snack and eat, and eat my breakfast while I watch this. And you can watch it in the morning while you eat breakfast. Very funny. Great comedy. It will give you a laugh. Definitely worth watching. Go check it out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the One Piece Film Gold Episode Zero. If you enjoyed this review, review, subscribe for more videos. I'm in the process of reviewing all the One Piece movies. I know I have fallen behind on that. But next Friday, I will have another movie review up. So look, keep your eyes out for that. Remember to like the video if you enjoy. And subscribe so you can be there next week and be notified for my video when I upload my reviews. For all the One Piece stuff and all my awesome One Piece discussion. But above all else, guys, have a great day. It's One Piece Nation, signing out.